Hey guys, don't mind me. I'm really red faced because I just finished a workout. But today's video is basically me getting my fat dissolving for the second time. So I didn't film my first round. I did document it on my Instagram. But I thought I would make a YouTube video because so many of you did ask um, about befores and afters durings and how it went so i thought i would do an informative video about fat dissolving i get my fat dissolving and all my injectables done at cosmetique in australia so i live in perth so i go to the subiaco branch which is my favorite all the nurses and doctors are really educated and really lovely there they make me feel super welcome um and the marketing team is incredible so I would um, definitely recommend going to the Subiaco branch if um, you are wanting to get it done in Perth. But Cosmetique is all over Australia, so um, they're everywhere. So if you're in Melbourne, Sydney, I'm, I'm sure they have a lot of branches in those states. But let's get into the video. so I am back from my appointment at Cosmetique so I've had my fat dissolving done as you can see this is the reality of fat dissolving you do look like a bullfrog and a pelican for all. a couple of weeks I would say it doesn't go back to normal until four to six weeks so it does take a while to settle and it is quite painful the first week in my opinion anyway um, just because the fat cells are bursting and they're dying so it obviously because of that reaction with the liquid that's injected it is quite painful you do feel like you've been punched in the throat a bit the liquid kind of um drains out of your lymph nodes and it drains in this area like up to here was blue um like the first couple of days because all the liquid is draining out of your body um because obviously there's nowhere else for it to go it does drain out eventually with the dead fat cells so i wanted to do this video because i had a lot of questions about this procedure and i want to film this video from my point of view and my personal um journey with this treatment um i obviously will tell you that you're not allowed to exercise the first um two days so 48 hours minimum you should wait to exercise so um, I'm doing the shred challenge at the moment, but I have to wait for two days until I can actually do that This is what my chin is. I have filmed a before as well 
so that you guys can see the difference but so you can see here is the pocket of liquid that's been injected it um, stays like this for a couple of days and eventually the liquid does drain out but it doesn't go back to normal for a while it is um, like kind of firm but squishy it kind of fluctuates so some days it's like squishy some days it's harder but definitely when the liquid drains out this part feels a lot firmer like kind of like you have a little ball sitting there um but yeah it does look quite funny so i would definitely recommend with this treatment that if you can take time off work and just stay inside for a week or two I would definitely do so. I know a lot of people are doing this treatment in ISO and I think that's an amazing idea because no one will see you looking like a pelican. Um, but I will give you updates every day from now on and show you, you know, everything that goes on with my chin. So yeah. So I did get numbing block beforehand as well just to make it more comfortable when they're injecting the um, liquid. Because of the numbing you can't feel it at all. Um, so if you didn't have the numbing it apparently is meant to really sting like your fat cells are dying basically. Um, and you do feel quite tender just under here. It feels like you know there's a there's stuff going on there so it's a bit tender basically and it does feel quite tender on the neck when the liquid kind of drains out so I feel like maybe it kills some fat cells on your neck a bit as well because it is kind of like draining out of your lymphodes that way um, they say that you recover quicker with swelling and stuff the second time round. So this is my second round. So hopefully I do. And because I have been working out and I have been doing a lot of gua sha and stuff, hopefully my lymphodes will kind of drain that out quicker. First time I got fat dissolving, it didn't actually um, last that long, the swelling for me. I would say maximum five days and it was um, gone. The liquid drained out. It was just kind of um, that little pocket of hardness that I was telling you about. There was like a little pocket there. It wasn't squishy, it was just hard. Um, but you do feel it is kind of like a little lump there for a while. Um, so it does take four to six weeks to fully flatten and for you to see the full results. But even then, some people, it can take longer than that. So I was discussing this with the nurses and they recommend that some people get three to five treatments done to get the results they want. But then some people even have eight, ten. They have a lot more. It really depends the body, how much fat you have there, how much um, your body responds to the treatment as well, getting rid of that fat. Um, some people's fat cells are very stubborn, so um, their body can't kill the cells that well if that makes sense so it really depends the person so i would definitely say um if you want to try it i would definitely try it because it is a permanent treatment so please remember that if you get this done the fat cells die permanently and these results are permanent you can obviously create new fat cells but then if you're paying the money for the treatment you'd want to try keep the results of it but it is pretty permanent, um, the results of this treatment. So I think it's really worth the money. Um, obviously with injectables and stuff, you know, you pay money to get injectables, but that dissolves eventually. Your body breaks that liquid down and it just disappears. But with fat dissolving, it is a permanent fat solution. So Cosmetique charge $500 per treatment. So each time you go in to get one um, session done, it is $500. But however, if you use my code MISH, then you'll be able to get discount off any treatments at Cosmetique, including fat dissolving. I will check in with you guys tomorrow. Hi guys, so I just want to update you. It is very... Um liquidy right now it's still quite tender obviously it's going to be like that for a couple days so it's quite tender to touch but if you can see it has gotten a lot bigger um and i don't know if you guys can see that it looks really awful 
but you can see the blue and where they're injected. The liquid's starting to drain. So by tomorrow morning, that will be going down my neck. Oh God, it's really disgusting to be honest. But you know, beauty is pain. I will check in with you guys if there is any more updates, but that's the update so far. So day one, the evening. Yeah. Hi guys, morning. So this is probably the most swollen I will get throughout this process the second day. Um, as you can see, it literally looks like I have no chin at all. It's like non-existent at, the, at this point because everything is swollen underneath here. So basically that is literally no shape when I look like a pelican. Yeah. I went in to get rid of a double chin, but then I got even worse one. <laughs> yep, super attractive. Um, yeah, so I'll show you the bottom as well. As you can see, it has gone down, this bruising and stuff. It's actually not blue anymore. I think, I don't know if you guys can see, can you see the liquid moving down my neck here, why it's all blotchy? And then the injection areas. But yeah, pretty hectic. So there you go guys. Um, I will check in with you later if anything drops. So all of this does kind of drop eventually. The process is slightly different to last time because I feel like the liquid had already moved down my neck by this point, but I feel like it's still kind of here. Um, it hasn't moved completely down my neck yet. You can kind of see a little bit, see that blue tinge showing that it's draining out of my lymphodes already, but it wasn't to this extent last time. I think it's a good sign when it swells a lot because the swelling means that the fat cells are bursting, um, which means that it's working better, if that makes sense. So you want a lot of swelling, I would say, because it just means that, yeah, like your fat cells are bursting, they're dying off. That means you're gonna get good results at the end of it. So, um, yeah, I will update you if anything goes down or anything, but otherwise I will see you for day three tomorrow. Hi guys, so it is day three um, of my chin. To be honest, I look kind of normal, like looking at myself, the camera kind of. Um, but, as you can see, the liquid has gone down my neck and it's nowhere near as swollen as it was. But I'll show you from the side. So funny, I'm in like workout gear even though like I'm I can't work out um until tomorrow. So minimum of two days. Um the weather's been absolutely crazy in Perth as well. Um it's like a full-on storm and it's like raining so much the wind's super crazy so yeah i don't think i'll go for a walk or anything today i did yesterday even though the weather was crazy yesterday but today it's literally like so bipolar the sun would come out and then it would start raining and yeah it's just super bipolar um it's currently raining right now but yeah you can see here it's still like swollen and the liquid has like moved down my neck I'll show you the bottom as well, so can you see there? There's like this whole lump here that's hard where the liquid is injected and all the little marks from the injecting and it's also swollen here because that's where the fat is being killed. You can actually see my jawline now, which is crazy. Yesterday I did not have a jawline, but I still kind of look like Peter Griffin just like this bit <laughs> but yeah when I go like this I look normal but then when I'm like it's like this big double chin <laughs> hi guys so it is day four of my fat dissolving so I'm pretty happy I woke up with a pretty normal chin this morning so I'll show you 
Like obviously you can see that bit here going down my neck a bit. But it's relatively um, not swollen. Which is crazy. Um, and I can actually work out today, which I'm so happy about. So I'm going to do my workout. Um, yeah, and it's kind of gone hard. So it does go hard where it's killing the fat and eventually that bit goes and it just disappears over time. But it is hard at the moment. And I feel like there's just like a little bit of fluid draining out, just a little bit. If you can see, it's still a little bit bruised where they injected. Oh, if you're wondering what this is, this is a scar that I got when I was younger. I fell off my bike and fell in a hook on, um, it was like this chained area that they had chains so you wouldn't go into the area but then they took the chains off and I basically rode my bike into the poles that had the hooks on and sliced my chin um, in Ireland so that's that little scar there. Looks really weird when I talk actually now that like I film that but yeah I will check in with you guys tomorrow to see you know how much this goes down but yeah really happy so far the swelling's gone down so much hi guys so sorry today i forgot to update you in daylight but um it's gone down so much it's crazy so it almost feels like i didn't even get it done and it has been five days now so um i'm not sure if i updated you yesterday but even yesterday the swelling had gone down so much on my chin like it was, yeah, it was almost like my jaw was like normal. There's always that last bit of hardness right here where they injected that the fat is basically dying off. Um, and I think it's like, yeah, it does go through a process of it gets hard and then eventually just goes away. But that's what the four to six weeks um, it takes up to to get rid of that little tiny little bit but the swelling goes down within the week obviously so I'm going to show you my chin from the side that's what it looks like underneath still a little bit bruised but not as bad can you see it's a bit like a little bit red on my neck but yeah, it's crazy how much it's gone down. I will check in with you guys tomorrow. I will be doing an update, but I don't think I'll talk from this time on. So I think I will just show you each day from now on since the swelling has gone down, just to show you how quickly this will go down in the next four weeks. But yeah. the six week mark of my fat dissolving and 
yeah it's all it's all gone down um yeah my face is looking back to normal now and yeah i did a close-up before which you would have seen before this but yeah my chin is looking really great um i'm really happy with it and i mean if i really wanted to i i might get a third round just to make sure that yeah everything is um yeah killed there but i'm very happy with the results it looks really good so yeah just got rid of that little stubborn little fat that i had there it's really hard um to get rid of fat there even if you're um a person that exercises every day and stuff like that but yeah um i definitely think fat dissolving is worth the money and i would definitely invest in it if that is something that you're insecure about it is a permanent solution and results that you'll get from a few sessions so yes don't mind my messy apartment i'm redoing it which is my next video so keep an eye on that um in the future of my living room transformation but i hope you guys enjoy this video and i'll see you in my next one bye guys Thank you.